Hey guys, welcome to the latest Z Code System video. I'm Drew, and it's great to have you back here on the channel watching along with us. And this week, we're going to take a look at a few games from the English Premier League, the match date 33, which is coming up this weekend, kicking off tomorrow and going on Sunday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Now, this video is coming out a little late with games kicking off in less than 24 hours. And the reason for that is because the matches in the Premier League right now, due to uh, the league restarting in July, they're coming fast and furious. And we're seeing games played uh, multiple times a week, teams playing. And it's, it's great if you're a fan, a little bit hectic if you're a player or a manager. But again, great if you're a fan or a better. And I said earlier that it restarted in July. I meant it restarted in June, uh, in the middle of June, that we've seen these games just come thick and fast. And we've got so much more Premier League and other leagues going on in Europe right now to get our fix this month and uh, on into August uh, as the Premier League ends this month, as well as La Liga and Serie A in Italy, we're going to see in August the Champions League and the Europa League kick back up. Even the Women's Champions League will be kicking back up and we're going to have so much football continuing on in the summer as we go on into September and the start of the European Leagues once more. So, you know, things have in a way, lemons were given uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but, you know, lemonade is being made for people who love to watch sports, at least who love to watch football. And I know a lot of people uh, back in the U.S. who are getting amped up for the NBA coming back, as well as the NHL and that 60-game uh, Major League Baseball season that is going to come up. Uh, I guess it's going to be in July this month. So a lot of great things going on. Now, we're going to take a look at a couple of games going on on Sunday. That's July 5th. Uh, not tomorrow, the 4th. Uh, we'll bypass that for now. We'll look at the 5th and as well as our blog that's going to be up in just a few minutes. By the time you watch this video, that blog will be up. You'll be able to go over there and look at a game for Monday night, a fantastic game of Monday night football that's going on in the Premier League, in the Premier League that is uh, Tottenham Hotspur hosting Everton in a match that sees two mid-table teams going at it who dream of much more than their obscurity in mid-table right now. Uh, Everton not winning there at uh, Tottenham uh, on the road uh, since, I believe, the 2007-2008 season. So they're trying to end that trend this weekend uh, on Monday night, I guess. So go over there and check out the blog uh, once you watch this video, and you'll be able to check the or get the prediction for that game. But I'm going to give you two predictions uh, from Z-Code System and from me uh, today, and those games are coming up on Sunday, July 5th. So let's get on to those games. So the first game I want to talk to you about is Liverpool hosting Aston Villa on Sunday. Now, this is a game featuring the current Premier League champions. That's right. Liverpool were crowned Premier League champions last week. Uh, they didn't win it on the pitch, technically. Uh, they had uh, amassed a large amount of points uh, before uh, Man City took on Chelsea, and Man City did fall to Chelsea, creating Liverpool a 25-point lead in the Premier League, which was unsurmountable with the amount of games left in the season. So Liverpool were crowned champions uh, with seven games to go, the earliest of any Premier League team ever uh, in the history of the league. Now, this was Liverpool's first ever Premier League title uh, because, as we know, the Premier League did not start uh, until the 1990, uh, 1992 season, and Liverpool's last English League Championship came during the 89-90 season. So Liverpool uh, picking up their first league title in 30 years. Now, unfortunately, after that title, when Liverpool seemed to have uh, hit the boozer and uh, just partying too much, celebrating that title, when understandable after such a great league season and a great season last season that saw them just miss out on the title to Man City. Uh, but Liverpool did play last night on Thursday night against Manchester City, their nearest rival in the title race, and were absolutely thrashed at the Itihad Stadium 4-0. And it could have been 5. Uh, fortunately for Liverpool, a, a late goal was called back uh, that Manchester City scored due to a handball in the buildup. So uh, Liverpool going in with their tails between their legs. But uh, if you look at the trends, that wasn't necessarily a... 
shock that Liverpool lost that game. The scoreline, yes, that was a shock, but uh, them losing to Manchester City away, not uh, not a big surprise as they haven't done so well in Manchester against uh, the Citizens, just as the Citizens haven't done well at Anfield against Liverpool in recent seasons. And also Liverpool now four games winless uh, on the road uh, in their last four matches. So if we were watching those trends heavily, you would have obviously put down your money on Manchester City to pick up a win, especially knowing that Liverpool were probably celebrating pretty hardy uh, for uh, winning the title. And, you know, there was jokes that Liverpool partied right up until the kickoff of last night's game, and that's why they were so bad uh, when playing Manchester City. Now, Liverpool take on Aston Villa this weekend. Aston Villa currently in the relegation zone. They can get out of it this weekend with a win against Liverpool. The good thing for Aston Villa is the teams around them are playing very difficult games this weekend as well. Uh, Watford play Chelsea. Uh, we're going to see um, Bournemouth playing Manchester United. So some very difficult games for the teams in and around that relegation zone. So Aston Villa could really make hay this weekend and get out of the relegation zone. They're going to have to beat Liverpool at Anfield, though, to do it, which I don't think is possible. Despite Liverpool um, being beaten as they were last night, this is a very, very poor Aston Villa side and a team that really uh, they deserve to go down to the EFL Championship. Uh, Liverpool defeated Aston Villa earlier this season and was one of the uh, most exciting games, if you're a Liverpool fan, that you would have watched uh, during the first half of the campaign. Liverpool down 1-0 with 87 minutes ago and mounted a comeback to win 2-1 in the final three minutes with goals from Andrew Robertson and Sadio Mane. So a fantastic turnaround late in that game uh, for Liverpool. Now, you see there a score prediction of 1-0 to the Reds. I'm going to go against that. I don't think it's just going to be 1-0. I think the Reds are going to get more than one goal. Uh, they could be getting over 2.5 goals in this game. But I do like the fact that Aston Villa is not going to score. I do fancy Liverpool to win to nil in this game. But as we saw uh, two games ago with Liverpool playing match day 31, uh, when they played at Anfield against Crystal Palace, Liverpool posted a 4-0 win. They ran wild on Crystal Palace. And Aston Villa are not any better than Crystal Palace. So I'm going to pick Liverpool to win this game to nil. And I like over 2.5 goals in this game. Jurgen Klopp could rotate his players. So... You know, if you're going to be placing a pre-match bet on a goal score, you might want to pick Mohamed Salah or Sadio Mane to get a goal in this game for the Reds. So I'm going Liverpool over 2.5 goals. I, I don't like the score line here from the Z code prediction, but I do like Liverpool to win to nil. So get on that, and uh, hopefully Liverpool will get back to winning ways this weekend. Now, let's take a look at one more game this weekend uh, on Sunday that I'm going to profile for you, and you can also check out over at the blog. So let's get on to that now. All right, guys, so the second game we're going to take a look at for Sunday, July 5th, is Manchester City. They are heading down to the south coast to St. Mary's Stadium to take on Southampton. Now, this is a game where we can see probably a large scoreline we see there a 2-1 prediction by Z-Code System uh, over 2.5 goals. I like that over 2.5 goals for this game. City are ruthless at the moment. They did lose uh, on match day 31 to Chelsea 2-1 at Stamford Bridge, but they did come back and thrash Liverpool last night 4-0. In the build-up to that, uh, that loss at Chelsea, uh, Manchester City did beat Burnley 5-0, and they did beat Arsenal 3-0. So... They are seeing some high score lines in their games. So, again, going with that 2.5 goals per game. Now, don't sleep on Southampton. I think this is a pretty good team and a team on the rise. Good manager there in Ralph Hasenhutl. And uh, Danny Ings, a very good quality Premier League striker. He's having a fantastic season. And I do fancy Southampton to get on the scoreboard. Now, not really sure about this 2-1 scoreline. I think City could stretch that to 3-1 in this game, possibly a little bit more. Kevin De Bruyne is playing fantastic right now. Best player all season for Manchester City. And most importantly, he stayed fit this whole year. So he is really, really playing well and was dictating things last night against Liverpool uh, and, and really just ran that show. He could get it on, the, excuse me, he could get on the score sheet this weekend uh, and get a goal there. Now, Manchester City are without Sergio Aguero and they don't have that uh, ruthless striker in, uh, in the team right now to lead the line. Gabriel Jesus, who is 
quality, he steps in and I don't actually fancy him as um, a player as equal value as Sergio Aguero. He's going to score goals, though. He scores a lot of goals against the lesser teams. Uh, he's a bit of a flat track bully. Uh, Raheem Sterling picked up a goal last night against Liverpool, so he's in the form as well. So these are some very good players right now hitting their stride, and Manchester City are going to be favored by a lot of bookies to win the Champions League when it restarts in August. Um, so they're a team to really watch out for. Now, also, coming up this month, uh, Manchester City are going to find out their uh, the ruling from the Court of Arbitration for Sport on the initial punishment they received from UEFA for financial fair play uh, uh, infractions, I guess you could say. Uh, Manchester City, uh, I guess you could say, also defrauded UEFA by um, hiding some of the money that they were receiving and they were spending. And so they received a punishment of two years um, ban from the Champions League. Now, the Court of Arbitration for Sport has heard the appeal, and they are going to present the findings and their um, ruling on July 13th. So you're going to be able to find out if Man City for real are going to be out of the Champions League for next year and the year after. Now, unfortunately, I think the CAS is going to um, uh, find in favor of Manchester City, probably slap on the wrist and a fine, uh, maybe at the most a transfer ban coming up. Um, but I do think that they'll be back in the Champions League and basically cut the legs off of UEFA uh, saying basically that your financial fair play rules and um, punishments are ridiculous. So, uh, but anyway, that's a story for another time. Manchester City taking on Southampton this weekend and I fancy Manchester City to pick up a win. Um, as you can see here, we'll look down at the uh, the head-to-head -head between these two teams uh, over the last few games. If I can find my cursor. So Manchester City, they did pick up a win against Southampton last time these two teams played. Uh, they played at the Itahad Stadium earlier this year. It was a 2-1 win to Manchester City. They had to come from behind, score two goals in the last 20 minutes. Uh, and those goals were scored by Sergio Aguero, who again, I like I said, uh, will be missing this weekend. Uh, he's just had knee surgery and the other goal scored by Kyle Walker. Uh, Southampton got their goal through James Prowess Ward. James through James Ward Prowess. Um, I fancy again Manchester City to pick up this win. Like I said previously, I think that this could be a bit of a higher scoreline than 2-1, but I do like that over 2.5 goals scored. And I do, fancy I do fancy Southampton to get on the score sheet this weekend. Uh, not a bad team there, but they just aren't that great at home uh, in the Premier League. So I'm going to go with Manchester City, of course, to pick up the win. Now, guys, now you've watched the video here on our YouTube channel, go over to Z Code System, sign up, and get all of the fresh picks each and every week there, and you can win. Uh, you can use these to win profits and to improve your betting on sports. Also, uh, if you are into UFC, UFC 251 is coming up, and we are profiling uh, the big fights going on for UFC 251. You can go over to the blog, or you can check out the videos that we've posted here on the YouTube page and uh, get your fix on the UFC. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel and you can get updates every time we post here on YouTube and uh, we'd love to have you coming back for more. Guys, have a great weekend watching the Premier League and wagering on the games. We'll see you next time here at Z Code System.